And we started this week off strong with a 240 pound bench press, six sets of five repetitions, getting some volume in. It was encouraging to be back over two plates on the flat bench for multiple reps across and multiple working sets. However, it was evident that my strength was lacking and I did struggle on most of those sets. I definitely had to lengthen my rest. Finally got some serious weight moving on the pull downs. A lot of body English happening here. Definitely some ego pull downs. However, just the fact that I could move that much weight without my arm going completely limp was a progressive sign. Went into some strict three-point dumbbell rows here, 55 pounds for sets of 15 per arm. Definitely needed a little bit more momentum with the weaker of the two arms right now. However, we got through it with relatively strict form. Then went into the lying tricep Skull crushers using the easy bar here, close grip hand positioning, 75 pounds on the bar for sets of 15 to 20 repetitions, managed to clear three sets of 20 and then backed it off to a set of 16. You can never have enough triceps, which is exactly why I then transitioned into one of my favorite accessory variations, which isn't necessarily all that progressive when it comes to measurability, considering that it's limited in your ability to drive progressions. However, it does contribute to an incredible pump and I like to employ this variation as a burnout at the end of an upper body training session. Kickbacks with a twist. Pay attention to that slight rotation of the wrist. I can tell you firsthand that your sleeves will feel like they're about to split by the time you roll a few high rep sets of these. Starting off Thursday morning with some good mornings. They didn't feel all that great, to be honest, which is maybe why they're called good mornings. But I would have rather titled them mediocre mornings because I just wasn't in the mood to do them. Managed to clear a top end set of 220 for 8 with good control. Even though I wasn't in the mood to do them mentally, physically, I felt strong. And that's always encouraging. All of the back off volume went well also. However... As is the case whenever I employ high rep good mornings with a relatively intense load, I pretty much sign the death warrant on my glutes and hamstrings as doms will inevitably set in and I will walk funny for likely the next two days, regardless of how efficiently and effectively I recover from the application of stress. Transitioned into some split squats. We've got high rep sets going on here using the split squat stand. I absolutely love this stand. It is a game changer. You can set up on a squat rack with a barbell on the J hooks. That works well too if you wrap the barbell with a towel, but it's way better than trying to position your foot on a bench in any Way. Then I finished off this training session with some high rep back extensions, which I realized I've never actually incorporated as an accessory exercise into my own training. Strange. Saturday morning, chalking up the psychological victories, I set myself up for some easy wins here, employing the Swiss bar for the floor presses. The reality was I just still didn't feel all that confident bringing in a variation like the floor press with the traditional barbell, with which I already excelled to a much greater degree, knowing that the chances of me failing a lift would be much greater. So I chose this variation because I'd still be able to work progressively on that specific range of motion, but because this is not a typical variation for me, I don't have metrics on it, and that means that PRs would be hit left, right, and center regardless of how far away from being fully recovered I might be. And that might be low-hanging fruit, but I'm going to take it because you have to play chess sometimes psychologically. You have to know how you can set yourself up to win more. And personally, I'm the type of person that the more I win, the more I expect to win. And I needed some more wins in my back pocket, so I acted accordingly with the structuring of my training regimen. Then we went into some close grip pull downs using the thick handle bar. Those felt good. The pull downs were symmetrical, which was encouraging. Then we rocked some dumbbell face pulls, high repetitions, 25 rep sets. My rear delts were on fire by the end of these. As soon as we finished off with these, we brought in the close grip incline bench. This is going to be an interesting one, tricep accessory exercise, although I'm sure that it will contribute quite progressively to my incline bench press and, of course, all other pressing variations in general. As soon as 
I cleared this tapering up of two and a half pound progressions per set. Basically, if I cleared 15 reps, I added two and a half pounds until I didn't clear 15, but I did clear 15 on every set, started it off light, so that was to be expected. And then we burned out the triceps here with one of my favorite tricep variations, rope tricep press downs. Those always feel so good. Got the rope straps rolling there, and that was a wrap on Saturday's training session. And Sunday morning started off strong. SSB squats, 285 pounds for a top end set of eight repetitions. My legs were pumped after this, mostly because I followed these SSB squats with two more sets of SSB squats, also for eight consecutive repetitions per set. And that's a lot of reps. Anything over five reps start to feel a little bit like cardio to me, especially with this much weight on my back. My goodness. So, four managed to hold up reasonably well with the SSB. I was encouraged by that depth was on point. We're getting some serious weight on the bar for this many repetitions, and that is also an encouraging point to recognize. As soon as all three main working sets of SSB squats were done, we transitioned into the trap bar deadlift, employing the high handle setup for these. One top end set on deck, 415 pounds. On the bar, managed to clear all eight repetitions, and to be completely honest, it felt a little bit easier than I expected it to. Of course, I am strapped up here because I do not want my grip strength to be the limiting factor. I do not want to fail a top end set of pulls because my grip failed, especially considering the primary aim here is to apply stress to the posterior chain, that being the glutes, hamstrings, low, mid, and upper back as primary. I can prioritize grip strength development elsewhere in my programming, I need not risk missing the application of stress to these larger muscles. And then of course, I finished off this lower body session with one of my favorite accessory exercises, reverse hyperextensions for five sets of 10. 